our 11 year wedding anniversary today. Uh, June 6, 2009, we said I do. <laughs> so it's been a while, right? I know, 11 years, we're getting old. I don't know. <laughs> but he still puts up with me, so. That's a good one. <laughs> so we have lived in Minnesota our entire life and we've never been to our own national park. Like, what the heck? So today, on our anniversary, we decided to come up here and see Voyagers National Park. So excited to explore, lots of hiking we're gonna do. So this park is actually, it's more known for like fishing. A lot of people come up here to go fishing here on Rainy Lake, but um, we're not going fishing. <laughs> we're gonna do lots of hiking. So that's what our plan is for today, to just be outside in the National Park here in Minnesota and get in lots of hiking and enjoy and enjoy our anniversary. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm pretty sure we are the only ones out here hiking. Hey bear! <laughs> bear! We're just waiting for a bear. They said there's lots of bear up here. Black bear? Not a whistle. That's it. Our protection is a whistle. I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have bear spray or anything. Nah, we don't come prepared. We just there's a hawk. We just roll. There's a hawk. Missed the hawk. And pray that a bear won't come out. I didn't pray today, sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, I should we should probably stop in prayer right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We got a deer folks. He's looking at us. Hi buddy. If there if you're here there's no bear, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can just hang with us. <laughs> All right, we made it a mile. We're right there, I'm gonna do the loop. We're still alive. Water, we're almost to the water. <laughs> like I do, yeah, get it. I'll get him. Doesn't pay to kill him, cause, yeah. Oh, we got a tick. Did you get him? Yeah. All right. Yeah, on Onward. Yeah, we brought bug spray, but then we don't have it with us hiking, of course. Makes a lot of sense. a really pretty trail. It's a little scary getting here, but you can make it here. It's worth it. It's pretty. And be sure to bring bug spray. And bear spray. <laughs> the mosquitoes here are like enormous. And we've had a few ticks too, so when we get back to the vehicle, we gotta lather up with some bug spray. I didn't think they'd be like this, but I mean, they're not awful, but it's pretty bad. If we would have waited probably like a week or so, it'd probably been worse, but yeah, it's really pretty. Tall pines. <laughs> So 
we made it to the beautiful viewpoint of the aerial views of the lake. Worth it. It's worth it. So Voyagers National Park has three visitor centers. They are not open, um, so you can't go in the visitor center, but you can go hiking and do everything. The park is free to come to. Most national parks you have to pay, of course, to enter the park, but you don't have to pay up here. So we are at the Ash River Visitor Center, um, and then we're gonna hit the other two um, once we're done hiking in this area. So yeah, really pretty. spot right on the lake this pretty picnic table so we are not eating out because there's not a lot of places here however we brought our own lunch we got some sandwiches some grapes carrot sticks are in here got some chips and um, I saw these and I'm like yep we need those <laughs> but beautiful day all right you guys so I'm getting smart so you buy mini wines, so I got myself one of these, and then I bring them with, and I got myself an insulated wine uh, glass. So this is how we roll now. <laughs> we drink lots of water during the day, but for lunch, you know, it's not bad to have some wine. And then he's got his summer shandy. It's so nice. That is nice. Nice. So here's our cheers to 11 years. Right. So 11 years ago, when we got married, we got married down on Benton Beach um, Lake area, and it board on our wedding all day long. We were gonna have our wedding outside on like the pretty deck area that's at the Benton Beach um, area, but we had to push poured. our, yeah, it poured. So we had to move everything inside, which was fine. We had room for everyone. We had a really small wedding. Good luck, they say. They say it's good luck. And I mean, I, we gotta be pretty thankful after 11 years. I don't yeah. know. There's a lot to be thankful for. For, we were very lucky for, building the life we've built together and nope. it's been pretty good no complaints nope oh, i good. mean you know, yeah yeah he farts a lot but that's okay pain in the butt <laughs> fart a lot though <laughs> i don't fart yeah you do girls don't <laughs> fart <laughs> oh yeah they do <laughs> doesn't snore yet so that's a good thing i'm waiting for the day that he starts snoring hasn't started snoring yet no. I don't snore. Okay. No, you just smack your lips in the, when you sleep. Yeah, I guess I do some lip smack then. I don't know. You used to talk to me. I used to talk in my sleep a lot. You don't do that anymore. I guess we used to have some pretty good conversations around sleeping. I don't remember those. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this summer, he decided to grow out the old beard. Oh, yeah, the old beard. He had to get some beard oil the other week. So, I'm serious. When the guy wants beard oil, you know there's something going on. It's past the itchy stage. <sighs> I have no idea how long it's gonna go. It's not as long as it has been before. Yeah. It's been longer. Usually, he does, you know, like the Movember for deer hunting type thing. But. Maybe down to here then? June, and he's like, I'm growing it out. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Maybe you guys that are watching this, you could answer me. What's the deal with the beard? You need it in your life. I'd love to know. You just need it. There's nothing more to it. Oh. Women like it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So last year for our 10 year anniversary, we renewed our vows in the Riviera Maya of Mexico. We did a little ceremony on the beach. That was really nice. So. I might rather be there, but it's all good. <laughs> and Minnesota's beautiful. Yeah. You can't compare Minnesota to Mexico. Like, they're not even close. 
So here is cheers to 11 years. Cheers to 11 years. It rhymes. Mm -hmm. Lunch was good. Now we're on to hike number two. All right, so the last hike, pretty sure we thought we were gonna get ate by a bear. That was like bear country hiking. Now on this trail, this is like the perfect trail for a moose. But we've came into that situation before when we're hiking. When Alaska last summer, the moose came out. <laughs> we were trapped between two moose. There was one on each side of us. And we had to slowly go around the moose. So if a moose comes out, I hope it's a nice moose. Because we're really nice people. <laughs> so fingers crossed. We make it out of Voyager's National Park Live. <laughs> here on this rock on this overlook like all day long it's so like peaceful and pretty and yeah I think we've pretty much decided we are the only hikers up here there is nobody on these trails like we haven't seen a soul hiking everyone's up here to go fishing so that's awesome because it's ours it's just our trails and our views are all by ourselves we don't have any other people I like that. <laughs> so when I was like mapping out all the hikes we wanted to do, this was like one of those like, like eh, I don't know if I want to do it, but we did it. And I'm so glad we did it. It was like perfect, beautiful view. So you just never know. to the beaver pond. The big beaver pond. Yeah, it's a big beaver pond. It's pretty. It is. <laughs> Katamagabi Visitor Center. <laughs> it's the second visitor center in the Voyagers National Park. But there's nothing here except a boat access or a boat dock. So, and a lot of goose poop all over. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, not much going on here. So, on our way to International Falls now because that's where the headquarters and the third one is. So we'll see. No, Up it? north. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? I can't even think. Rainy, Rainy Lake, Lake Visitor Lake. Center. 
We were in Rainier. It was like a town, so I wasn't getting all confused, but it's all good. Totally, totally. <laughs> but yeah, there's not really a lot of hiking at this one, so if you look for hiking, Ash River Visitor Center of the uh, National Park is where you want to go, because that's where all the hiking is at. I'm gonna go find Zorba's pizza. Yeah, we'll see. Zorba. <laughs> the Visitor Center is by like a main boat dock area here too, so a little bit better than the Cata... Bagami. I don't know how you say it, but yeah, so. Yeah. All right, we made it to International Falls and we waved to Canada and said, hey, could have came and saw them, but our passports, we don't have them. And the border's closed still. So instead, we decided to come and see the legend of International Falls. He's right in front of me. Ready? Smokey the Bear. without, you know, something sweet, right? Can you guess where we're at? Super sweet. I guess. I, won't, I bet you won't be surprised once I tell you. But. No, you won't. It's so good. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. We're going to DQ. Oh, yeah. How do you feel, hon? I feel wonderful. Can you get your dear queen on? Getting a chocolate double fudge brownie? No, it's chocolate brownie extreme. I'm not making the Wonder Woman mistake again. <laughs> You're so oh, we Cheers. got a Dairy Queen, and I got something different. I got raspberry fudge bliss. That's the one I've been wanting to try. I finally, I'm trying it tonight. And then Vince got the one I always get, the chocolate brownie extreme, because it's just that good. So, you know, <laughs> yummy. forgot to film our outro yesterday on our way home from uh, Voyager National Park. So I'm doing it today on Sunday. We're in our pool because it's hot and sunny and we got all our floaties and we're just having a fun old fashioned pool party here. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys go to Voyager National Park here in Minnesota, be sure to go over to the Ash River Visitor Center because that's like where most of your hiking I think will be. Um, if you have already been there and maybe I'm just missing something and I didn't see these hikes, let me know in the comments below. But I'm, I'm pretty good at scoping out hikes. So. Fishing if you have a boat. Yeah, and of course if you're up there, like I was saying, most people go there to go fishing. Um, but yeah, we did not go fishing. We wanted Send to do water. hike hiking yeah so with that said thank you guys so much for watching our vlog and i hope this inspires you to go up to voyagers national park it's beautiful up there definitely a great way to just kind of get away and enjoy nature and yeah you can't find more nature than up there for sure <laughs> so if you haven't already be sure to give this video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the little bell so you're notified every time i post a new video Ding. yeah <laughs> thanks again we will see you guys in the next vlog cheers, cheers. and happy 11 years to you <laughs> ah! <laughs> see ya cheers.